Hello YouTubers, this is Bill McFadden with a demonstration of Spitfire's Orchestral Swarm. I just got it today and it's at a uh, promotional price right now. It'll go up $50 uh, tomorrow. So the first patch we'll look at is the Bones and Tubas patch. And as you see, we have different articulations. I guess we can use, loosely use the phrase articulations. They're not your standard articulations. And the first one's called Tenuto Swarm. So these patches sound good in, um, in multi-voices. You don't want to use just a single note, usually. This is what it sounds like as a single note. So you want to use them as a cluster. So the next one we have is Muted Swarm. So there's just one note by itself. But then if we start forming chords, adding voices, we get an interesting effect. The next patch is Stuckissimo Swarm, Stuckatissimo Swarm. And the next patch we have is the Flutter Swarm. So you have a bunch of trombones and tubas doing fluttering. Now also you have a variation control which lets you vary some of the sounds. Let's take... So here we... It's a subtle effect that may not be active in all patches. The next patch we have is a tongued swarm. And then moving along, we have the Mordant Swarm Semitone. Or if we just use just the same note in octaves. Next patch we have is the whole tone mordant swarm. Probably in writing a composition, these would sound better as single notes. Possibly a fifth.
And then the last patch we have in the bones and tubas is the short. Then moving to the next patch, we have the brass. So the first patch and the brass are actually only two. First one is swells crescendo. Actually, I need to move one down. And then we have the swells <clears throat> diminished. use that one for just playing chords. Okay, the next one we have is the horns. And we have quite a few patches in the horns. The first one, Tenuto Swarm. And it starts at G2. Actually, F sharp 2. A nice patch. Um, could use that as a pad for sure. And the next one we have is the muted swarm. And then we have the Staccatissimo Swarm. So it seems like the more notes you add, the better it sounds and gives you a more of an ethereal sound. Here's the flutter swarm. Yeah, the close voicings work well too in these. Next patch, the Morden Semitone, so. Here's 
single note. Then we have the more gentle tone. Compare it with a semi this note. And then we have the shorts. A nice short patch. Now we have, now we get into the strings, which are my favorites when it comes to the swarm idea. So the first one we have is Tenuto Swarm, where most, most of them start was, is the Tenuto Swarm. And these are high strings, so going down to the viola. Whoops, <laughs> doesn't sound like a string. Okay, here we go, strings. So we see what it sounds like in the upper registers as well. And here we go. Next patch is Tenuto Consordino Tusto Swarm. And it sounds good through all the registers. And the next one we have is the short swarm. And then moving along to the short swarm, too. So short swarm one and short swarm two. And then we have the Flotondo Swarm. Very nice, nice pad.
and then spiccato solpont There's one note. Next patch, short swarm harmonics. Starting up at A5. And then we have the Whisper Swarm, which is a really subtle. Not too much of a range, but a really nice pad. Very unique. And then we have the Pitts Swarm. And then we have the combo swarm. Sounds like it has some of the pit swarm in it. And then the combo swell. A nice subtle swell. You just have to hold the notes down for a while and for the swell to kick in. So if I hit this C minor chord and just hold it, or I could use a sustain pedal, which would do the same thing. Notice the crescendo. And then if I change it, it diminishes somewhat. And then it starts to come back as well. And then we have the spiccato. Just a regular spiccato. Ends 
at C7. And then we have the pizzicato, just your normal pizzicato. And then the next instrument we have is the low strings. So here we have the tenuto. Once again, they mostly start with tenuto. tenuto. And it would help if I focused on the low strings there. There we go. Sort of similar a little bit to the Evo libraries that Spitfire has. can actually hold down a chord and play a melody with the Very nice batch. You can do a lot of things with that. The next one we have is the Tenuto Consordino Swarm. So it's really similar with Cots Sordino strings. Very nice. Beautiful patch. Then we have the short swarm. Then we have the short swarm two. And next we have the tenuto sparse. That's a different.
So it's more undulating, has a more of an undulating sound. And then we have the uh, spiccato solpont. It's got a lot of grit to it, as you can tell. Next, <clears throat> short swarm harmonics, so. I'm keeping my foot on the sustain pedal. The notes are lighter blue, so. So we're getting a bunch of them together. Goes up pretty high, looks like, yeah, we're still on the... So basically I just have a C minor chord spread throughout the range of it. It even has C8, I think. Let's see if we do have C8. No, we don't have C8. But it actually goes up to uh, G7. The next we have the Whisper Swarm. Very quiet patch too, because I have them all at the same level, which is uh, zero. Oh, that one's minus six, sorry about that. I'm not quite that low. If you hit command, then it'll set it as zero. Command click. But still, much quieter than the other patches. Really nice for pads. And then we have the Pit Swarm. So we can get all the way down to C1. Again, I'm holding the sustain, so we're getting... So we're up, I guess the high note is close to G5 or A flat 5. Nice patch. Pit swarm. Then we have the Tenuto Tremolo swarm. Then we have the combo swarm. By the way, the uh, the dog barking was not part of the patch. And 
nice patch could use that for pads. It actually only goes up to about G, G5. Of course, we it is low string, so if you want to hire, go to high strings. And then um, next patch, combo swell. So it'll be similar to the other swell patch. You hold it down. And it gets louder and faster. Okay, now if I turn the variation down, let's see if we notice any difference. I think I notice a difference now. Okay, now I'll turn the variation all the way up. It seems the notes are more distinct with it lower. Now with that. No, not really. Seems seems the same to me, but then again. And then here we have the spiccato. Just your normal spiccato for the low strings. Nice spiccato. And then we have the pizzicato. Again, up to uh, G, G5. And then we have the high winds. So we have quite a few variations as well in the high winds. So let's take a look at Tenuto, where we usually start. And that's the lowest note for the high winds, which is basically a D3. Looks like B flat six is the high note. Very nice patch. So again, you have that undulating effect as opposed to just to a regular woodwind patch. Here's the Tenuto Swarm two. Now I'll switch back to Tenuto Swarm 1, see if we hear a difference. Tenuto Swarm 2. Well, the variation definitely made a difference there. More subtle variation here. One, now watch when we turn it up. We're back on swarm one. Okay, then we have stuck, uh, stuck, stuck, stuckatissimo, I'm guessing. Or maybe just staccato, they call it st stockmo.
Then we have tongued swarm. Flutter Swarm. Clarinet or Clary Whisper Swarm. Sounds a little bit like Legati or Legati. Okay, then after that, we have Whisper Swarm. We are on zero, so it's very quiet. Got the uh, dynamics up, the expression up, very quiet. Just like a whisper. Okay, next we have the Combo Swarm. semitone. After that, we have the shorts, starting on D3. Guess that's the high note, B flat six. Then we have the last instrument we have is the woods, the low woods. So we should hear some contrabassoons, I would imagine, in there. So here's the Tenuto Swarm.
undulating again. And then we have the flutter swarm. Next we have the Tongue Swarm. Sparse Swarm Staccato. Then we have the Combo Swarm. Next we have the bassoon pop. And then after that, the slap stockmo, which I imagine is staccatissimo. So that's pretty much all the patches. Now, if I go into the actual instrument, I've covered every single patch. Um, let's take a look at the browser. So when you go into the actual instrument and in contact, you see the order in which I presented them. First, you have your bones and tubas and your brass horns, strings high and low, winds high and low. Now, if you go into the individual articulations, you have the same ones, and the individual art articulations are exactly the same as the ones that you get in the multis, like bones and tubas. So you have your fluttered swarm, your muted swarm, and so on. So all these are like if I click on that Tenuto Swarm, um, there it is, Tenuto Swarm, right there. So every single articulation of the multi is also available as an in individual in order to save CPU time and um, memory. That way you can pick your favorite patches that you want to use for a given composition and then go ahead and select those. So that is... It. This is Bill McFadden for Tone Pure Music. If you like this video, please click like. And if uh, you want to be posted when other videos come up, then please subscribe. Basically, what I do is go over libraries, and I also go over composition techniques for uh, film scoring primarily, and also theory as well, which is sort of the foundation for composing. So I'm basically composing oriented and libraries are a big part of that, obviously. So I go over libraries and uh, by the way, this library, um, the Orchestral Swarm by Spitfire is on promotion until tomorrow. So you can get it 
tomorrow for the discounted price after which it goes up. So if you like what you hear from their library, then I would get on that if you have the funds available right now. So Bill McFadden signing off for Tone Pure. <laughs>